Are you stuck playing GTA San Andreas old age graphics and you search GTA as a realistic graphics mode but instead of your search expectation you got some clickbait as android fucking graphics. Now my video in your recommendation or you got from the search results. Well my friends you're watching a right video and I'm not going to waste your time just like others cause in this video I'm going to say with you exactly what you want. Have a look at this. Well, features number one, you aren't clickbaited just like other. Features number two, this mod doesn't make your player looks like dipped in oil. Features number third, no white roads. Features number four, a lots of color. Features number five, everything what you want. Features number six, it's an graphics mod, not mod back. So are you interested? No. Yeah, boy. Well, uh, okay, okay, I understand, you know. So, without any further ado, let's get started to the video, guys. And uh, before we get started, if you are new in this channel, then make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a like on this video. And let's aim for the 120 likes. So, hope you all can do it. So, my friend, without wasting any more time, let's get started to the video, guys. Okay, so as you can see, we are in our desktop screen and first thing you need to do is download these two files from the given link in the description. So installation is very easy, easy to download, you know. Now extract your optional file into your desktop or any specific folder you want to extract. Now once your optional file has been extracted, open your optional 2.0 folder and then search for the sleeve ASI loader plus mod loader, you know. Now if you know already this step, then please make sure to skip this step. Now open your graphics fix and then just drag and drop stream memory fix. 2.2 test1.asi into your game directory. Now go back and open your widescreen fix. Now open your script folder and then just drag and drop these two files accept your mod updater.asi. Just hit on replace if it task. Now go back and then simply from here what you need to do is open your RGL 2. RGL files. Now it's on trainer press F2 from your keyboard in order to access. Now open Leo from your game directory and then just drag and drop all these files into your game directory. You know, now go back from from your game directory as well as from your optional 2.0 folder, and then search for your env.exe, and then just drag and drop env.exe into your game directory. Now minimize or close both of this window, and then extract to grass mod. Now it's a completely optional mode, that's why I told download these two files. You know, now if you want grass, then you can actually use this. Now in order to install op mod loader from your game directory, and then just drag and drop super realistic grass into your game directory. That's all. You know, now extract a main mod into your desktop or any specific folder you want to extract. Now, once a mod has been extracted, now open it and it contains three files. First one is light, main, and ultra. According to your PC, choose. I know my PC is media main, but uh, still I'm crossing my limit. Anyway, I have my own config. I mean to say that uh, according to my specification, my config is just kind of fine, you know. Now from here what you need to do is just run env.exe and your game will 100% start. So my friend as you can see we are in our game and our game looks too awesome isn't it? Now press 2 from your keyboard then you can actually access your RZL trainer. Now change your time or uh, do anything whatever you want to do. Now press shift to plus enter from your keyboard and then you can actually access your status menu you know. Now if you want to enable your depth of, depth of field effect then uh, search for your effects.fx and then from here as you can see depth of field selected but make sure your pre-pass has been enabled from your side menu. So thank you so much for watching till and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to leave a like on this video. Save this video as much as you can. So yeah as always I'll see you in the next one. Till then goodbye my friends.